Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 3 of Darwell20's Stone Block 3 series. Uh, today, gonna get Create up and running. Uh, I'd like to... Oh goody, a wandering trader, because I don't have enough of those. It's funny because they just keep spawning. Oh, that's where you decided to hang out. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Uh, they don't even have llamas, so not even leather and, and, and leads. They're like the worst kind of wandering trader. They don't even have any drops for me. They're just there to be annoying. Um, so today's episode, I'd like to look at getting into Create. Obviously, Create is the way we're going to do some generation of resources. Uh, the next big one being the encased fan in front of water. Uh, I'm going to need to throw down some water and uh, soul sand will get me some quartz. And sand itself will get me a bunch of resources like nickel and copper and gold, which looks good. Uh, we'll get redstone from dust. Pretty much, you know, what we're going to look at. I mean, only a 10% chance. Pretty low chances for some of these things, I got to say. But we'll see what happens. Remember, you can wash multiple things at a time, though. So you can, like, you can wash, I think it's 16 items at once. So we'll see how it goes. Cool. So uh, this is a wandering trader spawn area. And I figured, you know what? Let's, let's take advantage of it. Yeah. So I've got a few water wheels that I had crafted. Let's go ahead and place some of them down. I don't know if I'll use all nine of them just yet, but we'll get started with this. Cool. And then they should spin downwards. So, you know, that's funny. The wandering trader thing actually not too bad in terms of, yeah, in terms of the, the sizing. It's just the right size for a water wheel, which is kind of funny. So I think I want to have a, you know, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I always make these uh, water wheels and, 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 and water-based contraptions from Create, and I always forget the exact right way to make them. Uh, but I've got in my inventory, let's see, I've got some shafts. You know what I probably want is probably some gearboxes, because that'll be helpful for me. And is it too early to get a speedometer and a stressometer? Because that would be cool to have. Uh, that needs a little bit of redstone, so yes, it is too early. Don't have redstone just yet. Um, but I should be able to make a gearbox. Yeah, that actually doesn't look too bad. Um, now I know I made a bunch of gears. Did I use them all already? I might have. Okay, not a problem. Easy enough to get more of. Yeah, let me do a little bit of crafting off camera. I want to get, you know, a sufficient number of resources. So, um, you know, I, I actually I might be good here. And then you can upgrade into a gearbox. A couple of them to start with. That should be cool. Seven? Sure, not a bad start. And then I'll do any more crafting off camera. That should do. All right. So with you sitting here, I was thinking like this general area would be about where I start constructing this stuff. So let's get it placed and figured out. So I'd like to have it relatively automated. And if I want it automated, uh, the best way that I can think to handle that, for a start at least, would be... Uh, let's see, where's the, the things that go in, on the belts, these guys, and the site funnels. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, brass funnels are a little better, but I think I can't have them yet. So we'll stick with and site funnels. Uh, remember these can only put one item on a belt at a time. It can't do multiples. Brass funnels can though. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking if we set this up right, the way we would do it, is we would have a fan and some belts, which I smelted up this stuff. Let's actually get our belts here. Wow, you need a lot of kelp to get the belts. Cool. So let's do like, uh... oh, I used up all my shafts, didn't I? All right, just went and mined a little bit more andesite and got myself some shafts. So if we did something like this and this, Right, and we could have a chest. Let's just make this a little bit easier on ourselves. Or input and output. <laughs> um, can I get a filter yet, do you think? Because if I could blacklist gravel and sand, that would probably help. Um, this filter just needs a little bit of wool. That's doable, because I've got iron nuggets. Okay. 
And then the andesite tunnel. I've got iron. I've got wool. Right? And I'm pretty sure I can put this in blacklist mode. We'll find out. So deny list is what we want. And we're going to have things like sand and gravel and eventually dust. Do I have a hammer hammer on me? I do. There we go. <clears throat> so deny list, gravel, sand, dust, right? So then we put our belt down. We funnel here, we funnel here. You can't you have a filter? I thought I thought you could filter one item on these. Am I crazy? You can't filter it all on the andesite belts on the funnels? That's a bummer. That's a bummer. I thought I could filter at least a little bit. Let me check. All right, so with that said, what I'll probably want to do then is just have this be a longer belt with maybe multiple because it effectively we're going to even need to control the speed at which we're transferring stuff um or or the or, or the filter right so what i'll do is just something like this and then we'll have the chest sitting there does that sound cool and then we might have multiple washers going on that could be cool so i'll get my first encased fan placed and then we'll kind of go from there and uh in theory just a bunch of gearboxes well no because we don't want to reverse the direction of things so what we'll do is uh, belts. That should work. Gonna need a new pick. So I should be able to um, do something like this. Okay. And do I want to move the, the water wheels down on account of having done that or no? Uh, we should possibly consider it. What I, what I can probably do is something like this, and then that. That works, right? Good. And then let's do this to here. That'll turn all of those. And then this to here. will turn these. Now, I might need to throw a gearbox in there somewhere. We'll have to see what direction it turns. Because I, I will never guess correctly at what direction this thing's going to rotate uh, until it starts rotating. So let's see what we got, right? Boom. No? Uh, what I can probably do... Gonna be a little compact back there. It's pretty reasonable, right? Wandering Trader has spawned once again. And then once we get a stressometer, we can play with making it like, you know, good rotation, yada yada. Okay. So how are we feeling about that's blowing the wrong direction for sure. 
And then let's see about this guy, right? Because we want to get him flowing appropriately. But what I could probably do here is a double vertical. Yes, so that's doubly backwards. So that means we just want to reverse what we currently have. Um, so to reverse that entirely, let's forget this gearbox and just throw a shaft on there. Cool. And that should be good. Now, I do want to put a water source block in front of this, so I need to move this whole thing back one, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, I totally do. But that's not a big deal. Here's what I'll do. You ready? And then I should be able to do this to here. And that should be cool. And then just that. And now he's blowing, right? But we want him to be closer so that we can put a water source right there. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. That's cool. Now, what I've done in the past is I think I've used trapdoors. Isn't that how I did this before? So for now, uh, not there though, here, and then that way. And that should work. We'll see. For now, I'm just going to simulate there being water here. And then put the source. And that should be good, actually. Let's see if that works. So um, I want a couple more fans, probably. But let's see if that works. So if I got some gravel... Just dropped it in there. Are you going to get washed? You definitely seem to be. That's cool. Okay, good. That's a good sign. So let me get some more fans. Um, let's see. I need to clean up my inventory just a smidge. You have a lot of junk to clean up. But let me, uh, let me, let me get a few more fans. How many more fans can I make right now? Two? Two more fans? Probably. And then if I have to, like, manually sift some more iron, I can, right? Okay. Uh, I do need some more andesite casings, which will need some stripped wood. Luckily, I did a little bit of tree cutting down in between episode cuts there. Okay. Very nice. And then a couple more fans. So this should be as easy as just placing them like so. Okay. Getting a couple more trap doors ready. And then place the water. Technically, I don't think I need them to all be sources, but it can't hurt. So let's see if that's enough to wash our gravel. Cool. Now, reminder, you can just slow the whole belt down if you want. And that'll... Basically, it's X amount of time to wash it, right? So if the belt's slower, it'll get washed. Come on, dude. Still not good enough? We could slow it down a little bit, maybe. Um, we'd have to do that with some gear fanciness. Or I could just make probably two more fans, and that would probably be sufficient. Let me do two more fans. I'm just gonna grind up some gravel in here. I'll be back in a minute, off camera. All right, so got some milling complete, and uh, should have enough for two more fans now, which will hopefully be sufficient to get this going. So let's see, did I put that hammer away? I did. 
Handed in a couple quests, by the way, while I was at it. Uh, got another diamond chest, which is cool. Okay. So then you need a fan. That's not the way that you should be putting that in there. Uh, do, 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 do. That should be cool. And then... Excellent. And then you, and then two more you. Perfect. So then what we'll want is the... Let's get the trapdoors in place first, so that we don't get water spilling everywhere. Because you know that's exactly what'll happen. And then we're going to want... Hey. Okay, and then that should be cool. I would say so. And just to be consistent, I'm going to go ahead and make these water sources in front of these. I don't, like I said, think you need them to be water sources, but it's fine. All right, now let's see if we get any luck with our gravel. I'm just going to put one in at a time just to see what happens. That's got to be enough, right? Hopefully. Come on, dude. So close. I feel like one more might be sufficient. Because I feel like it's, like, just barely not enough. Right? Is that right? I think I think that's right. And again, we could absolutely slow this down. That's 100% that's an option. Oh, right, I can't put the thing there because of the thing. Um, do I want to put it one more further just to be safe? I wanted to see if... Uh, what would happen, but I think I might want one more just to be cool. All right, let me come back in a sec. All right, so fan, lock, source and source, and then I've got the funnel down. So now we should be cool, right? Now we should definitely be cool. It would be easier if I had access to brass, but I clearly don't. Excellent. Perfect, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. A loot bee spawned at 4, negative 12. That would be this direction, right? And then negative 13. There it is. All right, loot bee, what do you got for me? Do the thing. Give me some good stuff. Hope I have the inventory space for it. Did not account for that. I could probably trash this for now. Anything else I can trash at the moment? Eh, nothing else I'd really want to trash. Ooh, an emerald. Don't mind if I do. And a dripper. That's just wood, right? Maybe I'll just trash that. Ooh, a mystical white flower and a diamond. Okay. I don't know what I just got, but it's stacked with something I already had. So did that. Ooh, copper. That's interesting. I like those loot bees. They're kind of it's a it's a neat little like hey, there's a thing to go to go check out. Okay, so I'm gonna put the these guys in here. You guys can go in here. I've been keeping eggs in here for no reason that I can think of legitimately. That works. All right, so now in theory, um, I should be able to put like a whole bunch of this on here, right? Now I think it's 16 at a time that can be washed. Am I wrong about that? I might be. So if I put half of this on here, would that be cool? 
Or does it take longer with a larger amount? I wouldn't think it does, right? Nope, it doesn't. Excellent. And then what it'll do is it'll just, you know, pick up all the items that it got. Is that good or what? And then the same for sand and gravel, right? Or sand and dust, I mean. Cool. Now, it might get stuck there for a few seconds while it's, you know, unstacking all the items that it made. But that's okay. It's just going to, you know, keep washing whatever's there, which I don't think any of this... I would hope none of this stuff, you know, gets a negative detriment from being washed. But yeah, check that out. Boom. Task complete, others. Boom. Task complete, washing. I like it. I like it. Hey, that's not bad. That is not a bad bit of fun. Redstone upgrades from functional storage. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right. So, uh, hey, that's cool. Uh, we just completed that thing, which means we can now work towards getting a crushing wheel so we can do even better, you know, crushing of stuff. But it also means we now have access to a bunch more resources like redstone, um, you know, and other neat stuff. So what would be a nice way to automate turning cobble into gravel, right? That would probably be a really good next step. So how did I make out here in terms of resources? Did I even get any iron from all that gravel? I don't think I did. Wow, bad luck. From all that gravel, I got no iron? Uh, what I'll do is I'll keep one gravel in there. So if I just throw this in here, it should be cool and just do its thing, right? Um, and I would argue that... Does it hurt to do the 15 at a time? I don't think it makes a difference. Should be fine. Yeah, that all looks good to me. So I'll let that run for a few minutes. And let's look into making gravel. So how would one make gravel? Uh, we can compress gravel. We can... Pulverizer, the crushing glyph. That's cool. Uh, cutting board, but botanist workbench, crusher, hammering. That's something. Iron auto hammer. There's diamond and gold tiers as well, but that's something. I would wager that that's probably the way we're supposed to go. So how do we make one of these? Um, iron, gold, Glass, iron hammer, redstone. I think we have all these things, right? Yeah. Now, does that need RF or something like that? I guess we'll have to make one to find out. Curious if there's a quest for that. I'm just curious. Is there a quest for that? I don't see anything. Iron furnaces, trash cans. Ooh, mining gadgets. Ooh, end game. Oh, ho, 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 ho. now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I think we're still a ways off from that. But yeah, look at all the good stuff we're getting. Now, am I wrong, or can I still get iron from washing? Am I wrong about that? I thought I could. I thought I could get iron from washing. I thought if I washed you, uh, you get iron nuggets. Oh, at an eighty percent chance. Okay. Um, so if I were, if I were milling it and I wanted raw iron, it's the crushing wheel or the milling, but not the washing. Got it. Got it. Okay. So we really want to get into the crushing so we can get a better resource of iron, right? For sure. For sure. Okay. Yeah, because that's, that's going to be a thing. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely want to do that. Cause we're getting we're getting nuggets, which don't get me wrong, not not terrible. It's a little bit of iron, but definitely not really what we'd want. Really the washing we're gonna want to do dust and everything. Now here's a question for you. If I got you, can I compact you and hammer that? Yes I can. Yes, I can. I can. Nice. Um, that's cool. 
So hammering compacted version or compressed versions of the blocks is definitely a thing. Excellent. I think you're being more trouble than you're worth right now, pocket storage. So I'm going to put you away temporarily. Now, if I could automate this, that would be even better, right? So I want to try out that hammer today and see if, uh, see how that goes. Okay. And then if I wanted to make another one of these, I need just a little bit more of you. And I'll trash the extra stick. So sand, when we wash it, gets me... these resources, right? Gold and, and, and copper. Okay. Now, out of curiosity, crushed sand or compacted sand, you can hammer it into the dust that we want. So I definitely, I think, want more redstone. So let's go that route. I'm just going to trash this because he looks mostly destroyed. And I don't want to have to do it twice. Cool. And then I should be able to just toss this in here and then get a bunch of redstone out of that. And that would be cool. All right, let's look into that hammer now if we can. So we're definitely going to want some gold. And what else do we need for the iron hammer? Some gold, some glass, and some redstone, which we're getting now. And a, bit, and a, and a, and a healthy ish amount of iron. So I just want to see, like, does it need. RF, or how's this thing work? So we're going to need one of you. And then we're going to need the gold and the redstone. There's the redstone we're going to need, which is cool. And here comes the gold. I'm just curious how this works out. Because if I can automate it and it doesn't need RF, that would be great. If it does need RF, well, we'll deal with it. Waiting for input. Okay. So if I were to give you... Okay, that's not how you input, apparently. Don't I have a hopper? I do have hoppers. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the side that, it, that maybe that might be input and output sides. Is this the one they used in uh, Ocean Block? Might be the one they used in Ocean Block. Been a while, I forget. Yeah, maybe blue means input. Oh, hello. Processing. Processing. Oh, that's cool. That does not use our app, and it just sits there and runs. Now, does it auto output to a chest, or do I need to hopper it out? That's the question of the day. It's got gravel in there. Hmm. Okay. If he's got gravel in there, and he doesn't auto output, did he auto output? Did he auto output? Now here's another question for you. He did auto output. Okay, great, actually. 2x compressed? Just curious. Can you go in there? Waiting for input processing. Oh my. That's interesting. That's interesting. He can actually process 2x compressed. That's a thing, isn't it? It is. All right, now here's a question. 
We've got pipes from Pretty Pipes. Technically, I think I have all the resources to make that. I think so. Extraction module? Yeah, maybe. Eh, I need some nether quartz, but maybe. Uh, what about the other pipes mod? Um, maybe, uh, is the other pipes mod not in here? This is pipes, right? Yes. Can I make item pipes? Yeah, that's definitely doable too. And I don't think I would need to do modules with that one. I just do the wrench, right? That could be cool. All right, let's do this. Let's come back next episode. I've got an idea on making a whole cobble works at this stage of the game using these hammers. So I'm going to process a bunch more resources between episodes here. And when I come back, we should be ready to make a bunch of cool stuff. For now, Dolls Money signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Uh, hopefully have a bunch more stuff and be ready to roll. All right, for now, take it easy.